Another miserable day. What's this? I got a package? Potato crisps? Pound signs? Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> Welcome gamers, collectors, and interesting things that we've got to show for all of my obscure collectibles. I finally got the package I've been waiting on. It was in customs for months. Oh my gosh. Uh, happens sometimes. How'd you get it? Well, patience, PayPal, and a little luck. And following up on the series that we were doing with Heroes of Might and Magic, Clash of Heroes, originally released for the Nintendo DS 2009. This is the more recent definitive edition that came out from Limited Run Games. That's for the Switch. But I knew it from the 360 days. That's where I got the clips from that I will intersperse. But they released a special collectible, which was in blind bags. And I've got them right here, all the way from Europe. Oh my gosh. Without further ado. Wow. I uh, know, there's 40 bags in there. And there's 30 of them to get. Right? There's 30 of them uh, that are available. Right, here's the collector guide on the point of sale box. I had to argue hardcore with the uh, Englishman that owned this thing before. It's been around a long time. This is from 2009. There's very little in English on the internet about this set. It's originally... Uh, there's no manufacturing things. There's barely any English on this box besides the logo and Ubisoft. There's inside each blind bag, you get one of the little dudes, you get a card talking about their stats, and you get a marble. And I actually brought out little, little jars to hold the marbles because we're gonna open those up. So you got a cool point of sale box. You got six different factions with, hmm, Five different factions, six dudes in each, uh, which is this the elite in the championship to the champion class and their hero, their general. And uh, I love this game. I played it a bunch. This is the third run through I've, I've done of it, which is awesome. I, uh, it's just as much fun as when I downloaded it for Games with Gold back in 2011. Um, just held up a long time. But even I, who followed this game and was really about it, didn't know about these collectibles as they were originally released in a European only, uh, Spain and Portugal. So there's Portuguese and there's Spanish in there. And from what I'm reading, that they trickled into the UK and they were prizes at like arcades and things like that, uh, ticket games, um, other uh, redemption games. So, how did I get them? I uh, wheeled and dealed with a couple different uh, sellers. Because some of this stuff was expensive. Um, really expensive to get these. Uh, the few things that were uh, stateside already, they wanted ridiculous prices for them. So, I paid too much, of course, for this junk. But I also felt like I came out ahead. I've got to get... There's 30 of them to get. 5 times 6. You can see that a little bit there. You know, there's 30 of them to get. I think I know all their names. If you guys put me on the spot here. So we're just going to start uh, ripping into them. We've got 40 bags here. So what are the chances? You know we're going to end up with some doubles. We've done some, some junk grabs. Still it, huh? Real quickly. So the game is Clash of Heroes, Might and Magic. It's a turn-based strategy game there's multiple factions it's based in the might and magic universe it's had several releases but these collectibles are from 2009 okay well we're gonna do sets of 10 and we've got four sets of 10 40 bags to open so this guy feels pretty pretty thick and meaty let's give him a shot our first guy oh i know what it is dude oh it's a dragon. 
That's a dragon from the elf team. Oh, look at this hefty marble. Yeah. And it's got one of the factions on there, which is cool. It's nice and heavy. So there's two ways to play this little miniatures game. So you can play it with the cards, right? It's like a card game. It's a weird form factor. It's a long card. Mine's not too badly beat up. It's like the green acid dragon. Oh, this paint job is cool. Can you guys see that? It's actually really cool. My first one. Ah, he's been in there since 2009. Had to cross oceans for us. Still smells pretty good. You want to give it a shot? Sure. Oh, there's a whole big, thick um, hero guide slash rules for whatever game. You can play the marble thing where you knock them down with those, those heavy marbles with different factions on them. And they don't necessarily... Uh, Come with the same miniature that you just got, like the Acid Dragon, Emerald Dragon. So you got, you know, you can play it two different ways. It's, it's two different languages there. You got uh, Juego de Cartas, you know, that's the Spanish. You got the Portuguese. I know some Spanish. My grandmother is from Brownsville, Texas. <laughs> and uh, let's do... Do another one. Let's keep moving. Did you, did you already get a shot of the card? What the card looks like? Oh yeah, baby! Death Knight. Death Knight. He stinks. How big? Are oh, they? he's like so wonderful. Yeah. So these guys are like um, the champion class. These two that we just got the um, like the Acid Dragon and then the the Death Knight. They're like the four slot on the in the game. And maybe I have to warm this dude's hands up to get this in here. I won't worry about it for right now. We'll get it. We'll get a clip. But there's the cool guy, uh, Death Knight. I love playing with the Death Knight when I'm the bad guys. Oh, I forgot my marble. Oh, there's the Ankh for the Academy. There you go. Move him over there. And he's got his axe. And his card. I like the, the different art. It's just some, some stuff that you don't really see. Ooh, we got an angel. She's a bigger one. She is hefty, isn't she? And beautiful wings. What marble did we get? Oh, I think that's the elf one. See, so it goes with the green. That move it over there. What's that third bag? And here's the other guys. I know I don't need to dump on a bunch of guys. Fourth bag. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! No doubles yet. We're doing good. We got another Academy marble, and we got Nightmare. Now see, it took me a couple of playthroughs of this game. It's the demon faction, and this is the nightmare. You know, he's a horse, so he's a mare, and he's a nightmare. Oh, oh very clever. I always like these dudes if you want to build your army around them, because no matter where they're charged at, the first one that launches, they all launch. Infuriating when you're fighting them, but fun to do when you're playing them. See, we get it Oh, another one. Ah, Sorcerer. Also from the Demon Faction. Sorcerer, he's... Here's his, uh, here's his card, by the way. The, uh... He takes things out of charging. Right? So if you, you use him again, he charges quick, and then he takes others out of charging. He's... I really feel like... This guy's kind of banged up, and he's like... He's got a wonky head. One of his little... <laughs> his, his little horns is all extra wonky. <laughs> yeah, you get that when they've been sitting in their package smushed for 15 years or whatever it's been. Um, I don't really like playing with that guy. That that guy's annoying. He is not worth... Oh, yeah, we got a new one. Vampire. Ooh. Look at that. I love the vampire. Vampire is great. Ooh, he's got a little shifty cape. Even painted details in there. He's sitting on the pink. 
Now, I'd like to reiterate that these guys are all in their uh, default skins, if you will. But when you play it and the game is always match three, match three color, there would be variations on these colors. And I think that's a real big missed opportunity because they're only these. You would have been cool if like the main color was, say, the common. And then they had re-sculpts and reissues of, say, something uh, of another color. Uh, a little off color. That would have been a cool variant. And I think that was a missed opportunity that they could have done with that. So what else we got? Oh, oh this is your favorite. Unicorn. Unicorn, all. And you know what's really cool? I just pulled a unicorn with its faction marble, by the way. A lot of blue in there. We got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of blue in there. I got a ton of academy right now. I'm just a magic man. Here's your unicorn. All right. Got another one. Another nightmare. Oh, a double. A dub. We're not going to trip out too much yet. Not going to trip out too, too much just yet. Got art for the, the nightmare. Kind of cool. Well, like I told you, when they all launch at once, they sound like a. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, we get the priestess. Oh, she's really small. She's kind of cool. Yeah, she's only a, a two um, spot on the the player area. She got her little staff. I think it's gonna be tough to put those things together, but. We will we will do that with the, to the magic television. Yep. Oh, here's her uh, her card. The priestess fights for the Griffin Empire. Uh, she's with the angel. What we got so far? Oh, another dark knight. Oh, another dub. I like dubs of stuff that I like. Hey, look at this. We found a different variant. Even though that one's the Ankh for the Academy. It's way bluer. Mm -hmm. so we're definitely discovering new things there. And I think that's it for, for this one, right? Yeah. Okay, round number two. These are the ones we just opened. We got a ton of them here. We've got representations from every faction except Academy here with Nadia leading. Uh, I've got Angel and Priestess from the Griffin Empire. I've got from the Land of the Dead the uh, vampire and two death knights i've got the unicorn and the emerald dragon the acid spitter from the elves and from shiog the land of the demons we've got two nightmare horses and a sorcerer so we've got these marbles we're going to look for more we don't have a single land of the dead marble got a ton of academy and no academy guys yet represented here on the tabletop so Got 10 more bags. Let's go. Hey. No, at least. Got me again. There's Swordmaster. Here's Swordmaster's card. Is this your card? <laughs> Swordmaster. He's a cool guy. He goes and slams the giant sword every round while he's charging, and it goes. Sends shockwaves into the enemy's walls or their units up front. He's a total so and so. Oh, this must be a little guy. Hey, what we get? So to open it up, I couldn't, nothing popped out. It's our first little. <gasps> it's Nadia. That's she looks small. cool. Next to the other ones. Oh, she looks dope. She's our first general. Draw all that. They must be the harder ones to find, huh? It's Nadia's card. It's a lot more blue in the picture. Um, and her marble was, was that, that's Griffin Empire, I think, the yellow. Because these guys are yellow. Ooh, another vampire. Although I think the vampire looks cool, especially like the pink base. He <laughs> when he goes and slamming into the, the enemy column. And he always leeches your, the, the enemy hero's health and gives it to his hero. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, in the black marble too, it fell down. I'll grab it though. We got the Wraith. With a death sigh and everything. They call him 
Espectro. <laughs> no, it's the Wraith. Oh. <laughs> For all you uh, who are playing this game properly in English, Wraith is cool in game because although he's one of the weakest of the big four um, square champions, if he touches anything while he still has his hit points, it's instantaneous death, including the enemy hero. So that's why he's he's quite the wow. force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. It goes with his necros there. Ooh, another one like you like. Oh, a different marble looks like. Ooh, finally got Shiog, the uh, demons. There's tons of guides. Every single one of them comes with a guide. Everyone comes with a card. Multiple ways to play. As a game or as a collectible. Which is kind of cool. But the sword master. Alright, there you go. And like I said, I'll say it again. Why did they not think about doing their variations of their colors? Sword master looks sweet in game when he's a big gray armored knight. He looks sweet when he's a blue one. Was he yellow? Is he yellow? Yeah, I've seen the yellow one too. Yeah, that's like there's the one that you see the most common, and but they had all variants because that's the how the game is played. Oh, we got a new one. I just grabbed the card. We got ten points from Gryffindor. Yeah. Also representing the Griffin Empire. Looks pretty sweet. I like his paint job. You he think was, everything's in scale? No. But it it is kind of cool that it's close enough, right? To be like what they're what they'd be like in game. With these guys taking up two. These guys taking up four. This is a mage from Academy. I think that's our first one besides Nadia. Mm -hmm. It's from Academy right there. Academy Mage. Or Mago, as they call him on there. And then, another damn vampire, bro. Man, this is not looking good for the home team right now. Not looking good for the home team. I love the vampire. I, I usually rock vampire when I'm playing the Necro faction, but I don't need to only have vampire. Another. When you guys are recording this, you're gonna record my disappointment <laughs> <laughs> that I've been doing for months to get this. But half down, half to go. We got 20 more bags. Stick around. <sighs> oh, okay, this is the wraith. He looks cool with his death sigh, and this is his marble that fell. Got their little symbol on it. That's the only one we had in the Marvel collection. And we just saw something silly. We noticed this guy's got a manufacturing error because we cannot find his shoulder armor popped off of there. So he's got a big, he's a wounded nightmare. Oh no. I don't know. He must be the weakest one that's not fully charged up. When this guy launches, this guy's like. <clears throat> I do like this figure. He's nice and chunky. That's good too. All right, next 10. It's your third set? Okay. This is my third set of 10. Blue got black marble. And I see a new guy, which is good. We got Aiden. And I know he doesn't look like a demon, but he ends up with the blade of binding, according to the lore, so he can control demons. That's a big part of the campaign mode. Oh. And I like playing Aiden, because Aiden's got a really cool power. Let's see, put him with his demons. He runs stuff. Even though he's like crappy painted. Look at this. He's got crap all over his hair. Like comb your hair, bro. It's like you got demon doo-doo in your hair. <laughs> I like playing Aiden because his power is is fun but not too ridiculously overpowered. He can make his, his walls explode. 
and launch them out at the, the enemy. So I feel like it's a fun gameplay mechanic that's not too crazily overpowered because some of them are like really lame or some of them are just ridiculously powered. Oh, we got a new one from Griffin Empire. Oh, they got two stuff in We got, oh, another Shiog. It's a demon marble. And yes, there's the knight. He does look pretty cool because he's got in his lance. Can't quite put it in his hand, but there you go. You got the lance with the knight. I always like playing knights when I'm gonna do the griffin. I like to use that that power up artifacts is what they call them in the game, where you can uh, as soon as you you charge the the knight, you know he's got a four turn charge. I like to have it one where he's immediately on the battlefield at full charge, full power. Uh, even though he still has to wait for four to attack, because he becomes kind of like an instant wall. Like he, they never kill him there. He's like a, a really good way to help shore up defenses. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, finally got Academy. Got a marble of the Necros. Hey, that's pretty cool. I think that's full. And this is the Roxasha. Is he gonna be able to stand? Let's see. I just tell him a little bit. The Rock Sasha. And he's got four swords. I always like it when he's charging up. And he's like, mm -hmm. and he's like, ah. and then the swords go and slam into the enemy. It's sweet. Oh. He's a pain in the butt. Is he a four? Yes. Face one. And when he's sitting there, he's got like little swords. He's like, mm, swords. And his tail swishing. <laughs> and he's just a cool big tiger guy. I like it when he's purple. Big purple tiger gay. But we don't get the variations with this. But he is Academy. He goes and hangs out with Nadja and Mago. <laughs> hey, they're no longer mages. Those are Magos. Some of, some of the foreign language is better. Not often. What we get? What we get? Oh, another sword for you too. At least his horns are a little better. But his legs are womp, boy. He came out all crippled like, Leonidas, I'll fight for you. He's like a mess. Look at his mug. <laughs> He's got to lean on his stick so hard. <laughs> uh, He's like, I uh, can't get my shield. Oh, oh, he's a mess. Oh, no. That's the brujo. <laughs> I'm read these names. The brujo. Uh, also in Spanish is like male witch, but that's the translation. <laughs> yeah, I remember that from that old show, uh, True Blood. There's Brujo. He's just a dirty old Brujo. Yeah, this is the sorcerer, aka Brujo. Yay! Something new! We got a deer. I like the deer. I like the deer. I like playing with the deer. The deer kind of reminds me of the deer. Princess Mario, okay, one of my favorite anime of all time, by the way. Yeah, cool. And got a faction. Was that uh, Griffin Empire? But the deer's cool. Not only he looks cool with the extra elaborate elf faction horns, he's uh, innate ability. He can jump over walls, one wall. But that's still a big help. So even if the enemy's got a wall up there, he's like, he goes and slams his head into you after that. Didn't we just see some deer in your yard? Yeah. Oh, they were eating your mom's plant. Here we go. Oh, good. oh my God. Well, that's that, all you can have. Is that four now? That's, that's the max you ever get of one thing on the battlefield is four. Well, hopefully that'll stop them. Yeah, enough of that, guys. That's the fun part of collecting blind bag stuff. I'll tell you that. There's one that gets really unfun like that. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, oh I'll, I'll cheer up, I guess. I got a marble from Griffin. I got another beautiful... Three, no. 
I want some more generals. Or yeah. there's, there's another marble for the demons. It's really good. The, the, the marbles are real high quality and solid, which is kind of cool. Another sword master. And because the sword master is a special class, you can only have three of them in your army at once. Fun fact. So are all so your wait. doubles lore accurate? So far. <laughs> Anything else is going to start scoring it up. The extra obnoxious thing. Oh. Is <laughs> that the fourth? The fourth one! Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Shush. The um, magic fighter gods are not smiling upon me today. I am getting wrecked when yeah. it comes to these poles right now. Although I have another necro bead, which is pretty dope. I love their spider logo. And Ludmila has the spider ability when she launches the little spiders at you. Ooh, there you go, William. Oh, nice. You love those guys. Shush. Another spider. So another necro. Land of the dead. This, all right, next set of 10. <sighs> I guess. Okay, so the final round here in State of Affairs. Here's what we got left. I've got a million doubles. It's way worse than I even expected. I am dejected about this. But you know what? We definitely got a whole army of unicorns. Oh, oh. my favorite, bro. I especially love playing against them. <sighs> anyway, starting my chi because I am a magic fighter to the end. And it's not over till the fat lady sings. So let's open up my last ten. And we got a priestess. With another griffin. The marble is looking pretty um, <laughs> marbly. Right. Marbleized. So let's get the next one. Oh, another sorcerer. Is he bro. messed up, sir? Uh, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the prettiest marble that you can imagine. Oh. Also, Academy. I would use my Academy marbles if I had Academy. Oh, yeah. I got a ton of Academy marbles, though. I thought that was weird that they don't match up. <sighs> Bizarre. You know, I knew these were kind of junky, but I'm really disappointed in the manufacturing of some of them. Literally, missing parts, crap paint. Don't want to stand up, yada yada. But the show must go on. Another sword master. All right, cool. Oh. The black marble from Necro. Do you like the black marbles? All right. I'm not gonna get another another general. I think. Mm -mm. Wait. <gasps> oh. oh no. Just, Is this your sixth unicorn? Oh no. I'm hoping it's the last unicorn, like the old Rankin and Bass animated movie. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> I can only laugh at this now. Yes! Somebody knew that I wanted, that I actually play. Ah, uh, the Abyssal Lord. He's great. I love the, the roar. And, and he came with a Shiog. Oh, finally one that matches. Yeah, he came with one that matches. So I do like that. He's a cool one. That's a good pull. Smell you and victory. His big old chunky hands when he's grabbing his big battle axe. I love his roar when he powers up and he's like. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Yeah, the Abyssal Lord. What do they call him here? <laughs> The Senor del Abismo. <laughs> Indeed. Come on. I hope this is what I'm thinking it is. When I was just grabbing these bags. I'm really hoping it's for the faction for the elves. It's the big tree. The tree. Nope. Oh, uh, no. I don't think we're going to get it now. Because this is just another dragon. Nope. No tree. They're not even a different marvel. Nope. How many bags do you have left? Four. Four? Oh, this one's pretty chunky. Feels like wings though, it doesn't feel like three. 
I don't think we're gonna get a tree. I think that was my chance for a tree. Oh, great. How many dragons can you get? Oh, right after two. Uh oh. Yeah. But I'm dejected now, dude. I really am. I have a million uh, doubles. Well, I thought this would be a lot more fun, a lot cooler. You can, you, know, you can see all these doubles. You can see how the manufacturing and how they end up being so varied widely. So are, are really well done. I <laughs> just junk. I guess they're all junk. Yay! It's something oh, new. Different. We got a phoenix from Academy, which is nice. The phoenix. It's pretty cool. They want them to stand though. It's a big one. Are they gonna give him like this? I think they glued his his, his foot on wonky. <laughs> he's like just lean on his his buddy. Le oh, he's taking him home drunk. Lean on me when you're not strong. Two left. I'm on fire with Phoenix and I'm drunk. Here you go. Get it. Oh, <gasps> oh, one more. Vampire. Oh. The vampire. Last one. And I know it's not going to be the tree. I love the tree. I never got the tree. I never got I never got the succubus. That's like one of my favorites. The demon. I wish I got a Senor del Abismo. The vessel lord. I didn't get Ah. Oh. Rough. Uh, Rough. The Rough. Yellow. Oh, I got something different at least. I got the druid. Well, this is not another double. Here's the last marbles. This is the last of the marbles. There you go. Okay, so here's all our poles from the various factions. You can see our marble collection. Army of vampires, army of unicorns. I really am disappointed with what we got today. We ended up with way too many doubles. I also feel like because of the length of time that it took for these guys to get here, they're not new. I think some of the more rare ones, some of the heavier ones, they didn't want to send them to me. They didn't keep it quite so random. So there's no way I was going to end up with my tree, the treant. This guy right here, but uh, just real quickly, what's your favorite one? I liked her the best. Like Nadia, the general. She was actually the last part of the campaign. I think the the wraith. He's got the spider logo on his hood. He's pretty cool, and I like playing with the abyssal lord. So I, I'm happy that we got him. Pretty sick looking. Very game accurate. So overall, I still love this game. I, that's why I went through all of this. I think that was anticlimactic because we had to wait so long for this and then end up with a sea of doubles. Made it more obnoxious for us, but that's what we got today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something uh, about some of these characters and some of these uh, collectibles you might not have known from Spain and Portugal. Um, I'm very disappointed in some of the quality control, like this one that was shipped without his shoulder armor there, and other ones that are just wonky, won't stand up. This guy's a pretty good standout. The knight is a character I actually like, and then there's like three different pieces in there. Mm -hmm. That one's pretty cool. So that's why I don't want to hate on this. This deer is cool too. He looks dope. I like playing with him too. So I don't want to hate this stuff, but end up with so many doubles is understandably very frustrating. But thanks for watching.